Uh, Simon, thanks for doing this. How do you sum up the game? Yeah, disappointing in the end, you know, different game. We set up, we, we tried to be hard to beat, we blocked them in, we made them play straight balls. Um, you know, I thought once we got a foothold in the game, we were a team in the ascendancy to the back end of the first half. We switch off, we don't do our job properly. You know, say it again, set piece, we throw on, into feet, we should have a man on his toes, gets a corner from it, they score up in the corner. You know, this is... Uh, this is stuff that's happening far too often and, and you work on it, but you know, people help me need to do their jobs and, and we never done that today. And then to give ourselves a mountain to climb um, with the second goal a minute after half time is suicide. So, you know, we're never gonna climb that. So the way we are, we're a low scoring team. You know, we have been all season. I said since I've come in here we're not gonna be free scoring because we haven't got the players to be that. We can't press high because we haven't got the energy levels to uh, to in transition. So we need to play off a low block. When you have to chase games against Notts County, you're going to get beat heavy, and we did today. How much did that goal just before half-time change your half-time team talk? <laughs> threw it away. It was a good one as well. Um, yeah, but no, threw it away. We've gone in from saying, brilliant lads, well done, I think they've run out of ideas, to you've given yourself a mountain to climb. And then, five minutes later, or even five minutes, two minutes later, the mountains, just we just fallen even lower. You know, and then the game for me, the game's over. We've got to stay in it and, and we give poor goals away. We play a little bit at the end, but it means nothing to me. You know, 4 0 down, we can all be good footballers. You know, I want people with bravery who can get on the ball and pass it, and we really lack that today. Is there anything you can take out of the game? Any positives? Not really, no. Not really. Um, you know, it is, it is what it is. You know, we've got to dust ourselves down and go again. We're low on numbers. Um, we've got to refresh them the best we can. Um, and prepare for Eastleigh now. But I and hope it's be a reaction from, from that today. And that's another difficult game against a team with plenty to play for. Yeah, listen, absolutely. And it's brilliant for me, you know, I get to see. I don't, no point playing the bottom of the league teams and going, oh yeah, we, we won, we've done really well. Barnet don't want to be a bottom of the league team. I don't want to be a bottom of the league manager. You know, I ain't come here to be third bottom in a conference and, and have an open top bus. You know, I'm going to get out of this league. You know, this club wants to get out of this league. Now, we have to do it together, but they're good tests to see if these players can, can play at a level required. Today, we never. We got outrun, outfought, outpassed, everything. Now, we need to see different. You know, we've got Eastley, we've got Torquay, we've got Sutton. How good are we? You know, how good are we? Can't be, you know, we can't just be saying, oh, brilliant, we've done well against Weymouth. You know, that's not, that's not what we're here for. That's certainly not what I'm here for. Thank you, sir. Simon, in regards to the first goal, I just hear you say that the game plan had been executed brilliantly. We'd been in the ascendancy in that last quarter and a half. The manner of that first goal must have been almost the biggest kick in the teeth for you personally. Absolutely, listen, really poor goal. You know, and again, you know, we give we give stupid goals away. We don't do our jobs properly. You know, we're killing ourselves. You know, and we're absolutely kidding ourselves. We think we're gonna we're gonna be successful if we do that. You know, against you know the better teams in the league. It's just not gonna work. Against it was almost a bit similar to the Dagenham game in the sense of okay, Dagenham had created maybe a few more chances than Knotts actually had in that first half. Is that can, is that an Achilles heel that we we have to try and work on the set pieces? Listen, absolutely, and you know, and we'll, we'll work on it. You know, training time is is low, training numbers are low. You know, we've got boys who, at the minute, can't finish training sessions, um, and we're asking them to play games. So, you know, it's difficult. But yeah, listen, we we we've got to work, and we've got to we've got to eradicate them. But if you keep giving silly goals away like that, you know, you're uh, you're asking for trouble. And I think in this league, if you can go the season without conceding from a set piece, you get yourself in the playoffs. You know? If you don't, if you concede every week from a set piece, you end up down the bottom. That's where we are. It's a big positive to take from today, but you, I don't think you could question the boys attitude towards it. I know four nil down the game's gone, it's very easy to then give it a go, but just see the work rate seemed to be there from, from my standing. Well, listen, if I have to question their attitude then we've got more problems than I thought, you know. These are professional footballers, you know, we've been we've been pillaged all season. Now we've got a reaction out of them in, in some of the games we've played. But you know, they need to bring that, that needs to be, football's hard work, let me tell you, it's hard work, especially when you're at the bottom, but when you're at the top, it's hard work, and you have to be turn up and you have to be prepared to work hard, and you have to be prepared to have a good attitude, 
you know, and if you, that's not, a, they're not non-negotiables, they are givens, you've got to do that, if you don't, you won't play here, I trust me. Just lastly, you set the boys a test from Dagenham to bounce back at Weymouth, we, we did that, is it a test again now to see where we're at going to an EC side who have got a playoff place in their sights? Yeah, listen, I set them a test every week. I set them a test today, you know, a home game, next home game after Dagenham. I thought we crumbled at Dagenham second half. Um, again, we, did, we failed the test today, so it tells me lots of things. Um, but again, good learning curve. There's no point coming in and saying everything's brilliant and everyone's brilliant. You know, we've got work to do and lots of it, you know. Now we need to see who's going to come with us and who's not. And these games are brilliant for me to see.